I probably hit about over a thousand forehands a day. I'm a perfectionist, so I like to get everything pretty spot on. This level of dedication has enabled Freya to develop her sport to the very highest level. But such sustained activity has also left its mark on her body. And what's interesting about tennis is that we can see exactly how her body has adapted and learned. Because tennis divides the body in two. Whether it's serving at 100 kilometers an hour or smashing forehands down the line, powerful impact forces are experienced far more frequently by Freya's racket arm. And that level of force causes some surprising one-sided changes to the skeleton that we are only just beginning to uncover. While her body looks symmetrical from the outside, the bones in her racket arm are 20% thicker and contain more bone mineral than her other arm. Her joints act like shock absorbers, taking up the extreme forces her arm experiences repeatedly as she hits her shots. These forces are transferred from muscle along her tendons to her arm bones. Freya's skeleton has learned to cope with her intense daily workouts by growing dramatically in order to reduce the risk of breaking. Tennis players, we have to really focus on uh, keeping the balance right. If you get too much on one side, then it can really throw things off. In fact, we all have small differences in the size of the bones in our arms, because everyone tends to favor one arm over the other. But recent studies have shown that the differences in tennis players are about 10 times greater than in non-players. And it's not just our bones that adapt and learn to deal with the stresses and strains of life. It's our muscles as well. Muscles that will need to be on top form to beat Andrea Petkovic, a former world top 10 player. Muscles also learn from the activities we do every day. In fact, Skeletal muscle is the most adaptable tissue in the human body. Muscle fiber cells contain more than one nucleus. When muscles are worked hard, special satellite cells are activated. They divide. One of these cells then fuses with the muscle fiber itself. Now, with added nuclei, the muscle fiber cell builds more myofibrils, increasing the size of both itself and our muscles, giving Freya more power for her shots. But in the end... Experience wins over power. <laughs>